Hey guys, welcome back to the Roblox here today. We are playing Shovelware's Brain Game, where I will see how big of a brain I really have. And yeah, we're gonna hit play, we're gonna get straight into this. And now, around has just ended, actually, uh, apparently. <laughs> uh, oh, um, he's, uh, okay. Sure. Okay, so that happened. Um, so yeah, we are here in Shovelware's Brain Game. And we're gonna see if I can win this and become the grand champion of this game. Now, I have seen uh, videos of this game before. However, I haven't seen everything. So there will be some things that are gonna be new to me. And yeah, we'll see what those are. Right now, I'm just walking around along the ceiling. And I'm just bored. Oh, I just fell down. Well, I will see you when the round starts. Oh, there goes someone. All right, everyone is here. We are starting in three seconds, and here we go. Brain, All right. Check. Game, double check. Shovelwares, triple check. Okay. We've got all the ingredients we need to throw together an episode of Shovelwares Brain Game. Yeah, here we are. Brain Game, let's do this. And, oh, <laughs> um... He's skateboarding in. Ooh, a kickflip to a grind. To I don't even know what that was. But it was still cool. Awesome. Wish I could skate like that in real life. I just turned into a microphone. Okay. Alright. You're hosting a vaguely educational game show. Um, I don't know if I should read these. I might actually do that. Hey, you come here often? What category are you ordering? Uh, let's see. So, trains, planes, and automobiles. Haven't seen that one. Big laundry or artistic integrity. Laundry. Big laundry. All right. There's all kinds of clothes around the world. How much do you know? Wait, really? Oh, okay. I guess I knew that. Oh. I know what that move is. Name with a tool used in the process of drying laundry. What is it? You know what it is? It's called the clothesline. Not the dryer. Uh... <laughs> If it was the dryer, that'd be kind of a funny name. Oh, I think they got it wrong. Uh-oh. The banana is angry. And, uh, I got it right. There you go. Ten points. I'm already in the lead. It's a pretty nice podium you got there. Ready to pick a category. Your fave, Jordan. I hope you are ready. And I hope you won't let the timer run out or anything. Puzzling Puzzler. Shovel Studios. Shapes and such. I haven't seen that one yet. Category has questions of all shapes and sizes. Very funny. If you add up every angle of any quadrilateral, you will always get 360 degrees. Wow. In mind, what degree will the corners of any given square measure? Well, let's see. 90. Has to be 90, because 90 times 4 is 360. That's quick maths for you right there. Sure, whatever. And they got it right, so they got 10 points. However, I... Got four. Okay. <laughs> Squares are made of all right angles. They are all 90 degrees. Yes, I know. Did we invite you or did I just wander onto the set? Um, uh, both. Oh, well, contestants are contestants either way. Pick a category. All right, here we go. Let me choose. Shovelware Studios. Talking about states or probably geography. I am going to do probably geography. Hopefully I get it right. <laughs> I'm not the best at geography, but I'll try my best to uh, get this stuff right. I love paper boats. You know, I used to love sending them sailing down the creek by my house, but lately I've been wanting more. More. More challenge. More adventure. More water. Okay. If I wanted to send a paper boat sailing down the longest river in the world, which river would I need to put it in? That's a good question. Uh, I, um, the Amazon River? Is that a thing? I don't know if that's a thing. Yeah, I don't think that's right. Darn. Alright, well. I... It was it the Mississippi? Oh, they got it right. It was the Nile. Dang, I think that's what I got second guess. But, okay. Fresh face, welcome to the game. Alright, eyes on the prizes, monumental landmarks, or puzzling puzzlers. What will they choose? Maybe they chose nothing. Oh, nope, they chose... They chose this. Alright. Dying non-representational maps everywhere. It's monumental landmarks. And there's a bonus prize in it, too. 
Yep, it's the bonus prize chime. Show him, nephew. It's the nephew. Very funny. Wow, okay. A shopping cart. Fun. The Eiffel Tower is one of the most famous and recognizable structures in the world. But what's up with its name? Wait, what? It sounds like somebody <laughs> marked it as something they fell off of. Like, oh yeah, over there's the Eiffel Tower. Oh, very I funny. I called it that because I fell off it. <laughs> but no, seriously, who is the tower named after? Um, probably, probably this guy, Gustavo. That was the right name. I just like glanced. I didn't really read it. <laughs> um. Aha! Yes, they got it wrong. I got it right. I got the shopping cart. Let's go. Boom, Gustav Eiffel. All right, there's Goose 1009. All right, categories. Munchkin line barks again. Artistic integrity. It's Lit Fam. All right, we're doing that. I hope you've done your reading. It's time for questions about literature. Oh. Boy. Oh, okay. Stand Christmas and the wider, more inclusive holiday season. That's inclusive twice. In order will the three ghosts from Charles Dickens' famous novel come to visit me tonight? Well, clearly it's past, present, future, because that's the correct order of events, right there. Me too. Right. What a what a relevant answer. Ah, they got it wrong. And I am not winning. Goose is winning. That's not good. Oh, no, the old business partners come to haunt you. Yeah. Uh-oh. Cantaloupe. Boo. Boo. You call this entertainment? Here he is. This is how we did it back in my day. It's probably a terrible voice. I am sorry. Hey, what's, with the, what's the big idea? Sorry, I almost started doing a voice for the banana. And now we got a Donkey Kong-esque... Uh, video game. Well, here we go. Let's gotta figure out the controls. I don't know. Now, how high can I get? Let's see. Alright. Okay. Okay, jump. Stop. Just WASD. It's really easy. Alright. I could do this. Hey, let me move. There you go. You got a shoulder on. That's very funny. Give me this thing. Great. Moving on. Jump. Jump. Go. Jump. Jump. Oops. No. The ladder messed me up. No. Hurry, let me up. Jump. Go up the ladder. I did it. There you go. Totally did it. First try. Not second try. Just first try. There's a there's a thing here. What's this? I don't know. Anyway. Can we go now? There you go. We're out of here. Goodbye, cantaloupe. And you're shrugging at me. There we go. Anyway, you can only find so many different ways to indicate someone's turn. Pick a category. Let's do this. All right. Puzzling puzzlers. Trains, planes, and automobiles. Talking about states. Let's do this one, please. Trains, planes, and automobiles. If you'll choose something, which you're not. Gosh darn it. States, states, states. We're talking about states in this category. I would think so, because it's called states. State of mind. What are you referring to? Their um, yeah, their mood and emotional state, not their intelligence. That's not um, that's not it. Rats, you'll get the next one. Ha! They got it wrong. <laughs> I'll get it right. There we go. Boom. I'm not in the lead though. Will you pick a category and just let the timer run out? I know. I want to know. Well, I want to know what the categories are first. Before I choose anything. Zoo Pal Science Rules. Math Zone. Math Zone. Math zone. I'm doing pretty good in math right now. Wait, what really? Is a I mean, set of what? Rules dictating which parts of a math equation to solve in sequence. Correct. Do you know what part of this question you would need to tackle first? Yes. Um, hold on. What? Oh, sorry. Okay. I, I had to read this. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> okay. You can't say that on TV. Don't get angry at me for getting it right. Okay. The P in PEMDAS stands for parentheses. Or for those people that use GEMDAS groupings. Alright. Anyway. Uh, pick a category. Goose, who looks kind of like Walter White, I think. 
Uh, it's what fan show War Studios Matt Zone again? Really? Okay. The only times tables? Kind of. You guess. Can you solve it? Yes. Uh, oh, wow. 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 What a, what an easy question. Two plus two. All right. That's fine. That's math, all right. Yeah, if you don't get that right, you're an idiot. All right. You're going to choose. I'm going to... Wow, math zone three times in a row. Man, these guys really love their math. 36 plus four, 40. <laughs> Take that. I am super fast, and I was going to say like, that's wrong. Like, he got it right or wrong somehow. All right, well, that adds up. I hope so. There's an addition symbol. I just got set on fire. Um, I was, I was, I was doing too good. They decided to, to punish me for it. They didn't want me to win this thing. Okay, I'm back. I'm not on fire anymore. I'm going to assume they're going to... Ooh, sports mix. I haven't seen that one yet. Let's choose this, please. Zoo or choose zoo pals. You know, that works too. Quack, quack, Ants. zoo pals. Ants, what? Ants. Um, I... Ants man. There's a lot of those guys <clears throat> all across the globe. No picnic is safe. Okay. Now, how many ants are there? Like, total. What? How do... How would we know this? I'm going to say 20 quadrillion. I'm not searching this up. That'd be cheating. You stop that. Yes. Yeah, I got it right. Somehow. All right, what category do you want this time? I don't know. I, <laughs> I got a lucky guess right there. Yes, trains, planes, and automobiles. Planes and automobiles. I haven't seen this yet. Oh, board, we're talking about different types of transportation. All right. What's what is it? the name of the type of cable railway system involving two counterbalanced carriages on a steep slope? I'm pretty sure... Escalator? No. Um... Funic stair... I'm gonna say inclined, inclined elevator. Again? Are you serious? What? What was it? Stairway? Funic... Funicular. Funicular. I don't know how you say that. Okay, well, I learned something new. That's something. Alright, this guy is probably gonna choose talking about states, right? Or they're gonna let the timer run out. Nope, never mind. I got it right. Look at that. United States. States of matter. States of decay. Oh, God. States of decay. No, I don't want to do that. These are really easy, though. The United States is a region called the Four Corners. Oh, I've heard of this. Of four connected states. I forgot which one this is. Just hop between the borders. Ooh, I'm in this state. Ooh, now I'm in this state. <laughs> oh, much enjoyment to be had. Anywho, which of the following states would I not be hopping not into? Not be hopping in into. Scenario? Okay. Uh, probably New Mexico, if I had to guess. Like, um, I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Oh, they got it right. That's bad. I got it wrong! Okay. It was Connecticut. Our southwestern state. Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, and Utah. Oh. Well, you know, I learned something else new. Great. You're up to bat again. What category will it be? We'll see. Maybe shapes and such. Or memorable, memorable events. events. Alright. Second time to charm. The Mysteries of Andrew History. Randall. The first electric telephone was the first person to officially make a phone call. How? He demonstrated if... his invention by sending oh, I see. the phone to his assistant, okay. Thomas Watson, in the other room. Quote, Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. <laughs> he said, I? Did he make this call? Uh, I'm going to guess probably um, 1876. It's either 1876 or 1870. Oh, he got it wrong. Ha ha ha. You are a loser. I got it right. Yeah. It was 1876. Okay. That's it. The round's over. I have won. Let's see what the winner will be winning. And uh, let me see it. Okay. A, v a VHS player. A secret what? The videotape format. This sleek new VHS player features all the modern quality of life features you expect. Play button, record button, even a rewind button. Wow. Even as a fail safe or if it starts to eat your tape. The instant it recognizes a tape is being eaten, it incinerates the entire uh, thing. Hey! Bam! 
No more tape That's tape. not nice. Isn't that great? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, you know who's the winner? You guessed it. Me! I got the VHS and I got the Grand Champion badge. And I have the biggest brain! Alright. Yeah. Congratulations, me. And uh, thank you to all these people. Alright, Banana, what are you gonna do? Alright. Yep. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do I see what I see? It's a Super Mario 64 reference. There he goes. And that's that. So, I have won my first ever round actually playing uh, Shovelware's Brain Game. Uh, also, they really updated the store. Okay. So, that's that. I got both of these prizes. Uh, that's out of 64 prizes. So, that's, that's great. Anyway, I might do another round, actually, because this is actually pretty fun. And I want to see if I can win twice in a row. So, we will see when we get back. And we are back on Channel 7, and there are three seconds before we have to start. Is it only us two, or is it going to be someone else? I don't know. It's time for another exciting episode of the world's only game show. Wait, show only game show? Brain game. Shovelware's Brain Game, apparently the only game show that exists for some reason. He's the CEO and founder of Shovelware Studios, and he's also your host, it's the Dancing Banana. Hello, Dancing Banana. Let's see what you have for us today. Thank you for being here, waiters and germs. We've got a wonderful show for you tonight. As long as nothing blows up on us. Wonder what's gonna blow up, if anything. We don't know. Welcome, you're gonna need to pick a category, okay? Alright, Geomar, let's see what you choose. Puzzling puzzlers, talking about states, shapes, and such, and sh she chose that, alright. In this category, this game shows where you begin to take shape. That's great. Okay. Oh. Okay. Kite, uh, nonagon. Uh, Impostagon, clearly. Oh, you got it wrong? What'd you choose? Because I got it right. Imp yeah, I got it right. Happy to have you here. What category do you want? I don't know. But if it's as easy as, um... Ooh, let's do... Science Rules. Science rules. Yep. Alright, you pick Science Rules. Let's lay down some laws. What is oh, here's someone else. point of water? I'm trying to freeze some right now, and it's just, you know, normal cold water, which is fine, but it's not what I'm looking for. Help me out, would you? Well, which, oh, which is in it? Which, I which is it? Us friends, anyway. Hey, don't give me the cold shoulder. Is it? F okay. Um, I'm not stupid. I know this. It's, it's clearly zero degrees Celsius. And if I get this wrong, well, oh, thank goodness, poggers, yeah, I got it right. Hooray, everyone's clapping for me, because I'm a genius. The person didn't answer. Didn't the announcer's a bit of a fair-weather friend, to be honest. All right, yeah. Okay, good. I don't have to review that. Oh, hello, Donut Cop. There's studio security. Hey, you folks. I know you've got a thing going on here, but if I could just make an announcement real quick, that'd be just swell. Sorry for the voice. We've got a dangerous wanted criminal on the loose. Have any of you seen this man? Hmm, no, he looks really... Uh, similar. Well, that's crazy. No, I think I remember somebody seeing someone that handsome. I just tripped over my words there. Ooh. Alrighty then. Sorry to take up your time. Please resume. I think I messed up the voice in the second half. Welcome to the game. Hey, do I know you from somewhere? I know I don't know this person from anywhere, so. Alright, it's your turn to pick a category. Who are the categories? I'm gonna assume she's gonna choose artistic integrity. And if not that, then trains, planes, and armor. All right, wow. I am really on point with these. Let's see just how cultured you are. Colors, you can mix together to get any other color. Yeah. If you had some paints and wanted to be able to mix together nearly any color you could think of, what colors of paint would you need? Well, clearly, it's red, blue, and green. You know, if, if, wait, right? I didn't see red, blue, yellow, or anything, so I, I assume it's right. Uh oh. Oh no. Alright. 
Oh, well. <laughs> Wait, sorry, I'm gonna yellow. Wait a minute, what? Really? I didn't know that. Okay, well, now I know for next time. Anyway, Sports Mix, Shovel War Studios, Puzzling Puzzlers. Sports Mix. Sports mix. Alright. Yeah, Sports Ball. Woo. I. Okay. Okay. Stop blinking. You can, you can stop saying it. Stop. Please. Okay. Yeah. Uh, obviously it's football slash soccer. Oh my gosh, your mouth moves? That is even more creepy. I don't like that. Alright. I would hope so. Because if you don't know it, you are not smart. Alright, you're not smart. It's a taff. Sorry to say that. Maybe you should go play some? Yeah, maybe. Hey, thanks for joining us. Pick a category, any category. Or let the timer run out, because apparently you do not get that correct somehow. Sports mix. More sports mix. Okay. I have you on my fantasy team, so you better get the next question right. If anything from the last question, probably not. Structures on either end of an American football field. Well, those are called the... The, the goal post, clearly. Not the field goal. Because I don't think that's what you call it. I don't think they're going to answer, actually. Oh, thank goodness. That's correct. Did it did it randomly choose the answer and they got it right? <laughs> That'd be really funny. Or do you just wait for the last second? I don't know. Um. Alright, this guy got it wrong. Oh, they left. Okay. We're going to keep moving these gradually. It's your turn again, so that means you get to pick a category. Cool, huh? Yeah, really cool. All right, come on. Let me see the categories. Um, let's do this one. Nonsense, non sequiturs. Nonsense, non sequiturs. We don't know how you got here, but it's time for some nonsense, non sequiturs. Yep, it's gonna be complete nonsense. Can a matchbox? Can a? No, but a tin can. Okay. <laughs> That's pr it's probably gonna be wrong. Okay, it was right. Great. That's good. I know jokes. They got it wrong. They both got it wrong. Okay, wow. Sure. Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, um. Yeah, Garfunkel, paid programming, Trunk School Musical, The Dover Boys, and Everglades. Oh. I, um. I got Slime Field. Feld. Okay. Uh, goodbye. I'm. Well. I don't blame for changing the channel. I wasn't paying attention either. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's your turn to pick a category again. All right, where are they gonna choose? Sports mix, third time in a row, or it's Wet Fam or Zoo Pals. Probably sports. Nope. Okay, I was wrong on that one. Okay. Time to for animal knowledge. Why do things keep evolving into crabs? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Wait. Keep evolving into creatures that we recognize as crabs. It's freaky. That doesn't In make fact, sense. It's happened so many times that there's an actual scientific term for it. Um, what is that term? I don't know. Uh, crystallization? It sounds like. You just posted <laughs> oh, I got it wrong. Did I get it wrong? I got it. Okay, everyone got it wrong. Was it? It was carcinization. All right. It was. I, I knew it was either that one or the other one, but I, I got it wrong. It's fine. Zoo pals. Your pals are mine. Let's talk about animals. Yeah. Alright. Uh oh. Bordy the smart boy. Hello, Bordy. Who. The voice is a little, little squeaky. Um. Ooh. Good question. What the. Um. Jaguar. It's either Jaguar or Leopard. I, um, huh, lucky guess. they got it right. I got someone else again. Dang it, I got it wrong. Aw. Oh, she was on a leopard. Oh. Jaguar's fur pattern is slightly different. Well, I didn't know that because I don't really pay attention to that. Okay. Yeah, maybe not. Hopefully never. Uh, goodbye, Bordy. Please never show up again. Oh, now it's my turn. Can they skip over that guy? He showed up late. All right. Non-disciplinary science rules. Talking about states. Let's do more science. 
Let's do some more science up in here. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. Oh, you get a bonus prize for this one. Sounds means your chance to win a bonus prize. What do it be? I don't know. I, oh. Uh, um. Great, I already have a cart. Oh. Uh, um. What if I don't? But, but what if I don't? You know? Am I add to the collection? Yeah, I'll add it in with my uh, shopping cart that I got from outside the, the mart. Oh, great. Um, hello, Bordy. I told you I didn't want to see you again. But, um, oh well. I, oh, God. Are you serious? No. What? Uh, oh, no, wait, I know this. It's Mercury. I, I'm like, what is that? Oh, it's Mercury. G good. Yeah, one word, huh? Okay. I got that. Everyone else got it wrong. They probably chose, um... Probably chose something with an H on it. Which would make sense. Uh, if I was in their shoes, a the round of applause for you, you just won the bonus prize. Yeah, it goes along nicely with my Mars shopping cart. Alright. No. Go go away, Bordy. No one likes you. I'm sorry, that was way too mean. Oh, we also won! <laughs> Again! At the end of the round, let's see the grand prize. What am I winning? I can't... Did you get this from Marsh? Huh? <laughs> okay. Oh. Why? Who? <laughs> what, just cabbage for dinner? That's really... Really, really cheap. Yay, I'm a cabbage head. Yay. Okay. Well, I won twice in a row. I got a cabbage... I, I, okay. I got a cabbage, I got a shopping cart, I got a round trip to the market. I, I, yeah, it's a lot. A lot of stuff. Yeah, of course. Marsh grocery store. You owe me nothing. I owe you money if I ever go there. Anyway, that's the end of Shovelware's Brain Game for this episode. And yeah, I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe, and hit notification bell so you know if I can come out with more videos. I'm sorry for not doing any more jailbreak content uh, recently, but I'm trying to catch up with these trends and stuff, and you know, I'm trying to see what goes well and what's not. But I will definitely do a jailbreak video next time. So yeah, hope you all have a great day, and I will see you all next time. Bye!